You guys all know H.A. Goofman, H.A. Goodman, Haha ha Goodman, Looney, H.A. Goodman, Looney, H.A. Goofman, Lunatic, H.A. Goodman, whatever you want to call the man. You know, he's a he's a mix of grifter and, and, and legit loony, um, some mix of the two, because he's legitimately delusional. Every single video he does basically about Hillary Clinton. And it was for a long time that after the 2016 election, a year had passed. And if you go through his videos, they're all like Imran something uh, email scandal, Hillary Clinton to be indicted. He's been saying Hillary's going to be indicted for a long, long time now. And he's he's continuing that. I just saw that he had a video posted to his channel that says something like Hillary to be indicted after the William Barr uh, report was released, which is really hilarious. So if you don't know about H.A. Goodman, it's your first time seeing him, right? He's a, he was a former 2016 Bernie supporter, but it turned out he was just a grifter who was like cashing in on the moment. He was actually like a Rand Paul libertarian type. And so then he went full on MAGA train mode, like a complete sellout. By the way, he's not even good at selling out. It's really embarrassing because as you guys know, you know, being a right wing sellout is extremely well funded. So people like the Dave Rubin and Candace Owens is of the world. He's not even good at selling out. So he's still like, you know has a, you know, measly whatever apparatus he has going down. Um, and he's not even good at selling out. That's how embarrassing he is. But some of the lowlights of him include uh, his meltdown that he had in 2018 when the midterms were going on because he spent like the month prior to the election proclaiming and vowing that the Republicans were going to maintain the House. Because remember, basically all the predictions said uh, the Republicans are going to lose the House, but they'll maintain the Senate. And he's like, no, the Republicans will maintain the House. And then I, I did a video on him, basically his continuous meltdown. As it, as it turned out, that was totally false and went in the entire other direction, right? So uh, what we're going to be looking at here is he's going to talk about, this is really weird. So we need to see Trump's, Trump's tax returns because we need to um, know about the different information about his you know, personal taxes and what have been going on. We need to know if he's paid his tax, if he's been paying taxes, has he been skimping out on paying taxes? And also, we need to see if that'll lead to evidence of him and the garden variety, as Ro kind of put it, of financial crimes that Donald Trump has committed because he's committed a lot of financial crimes. Um, and we'll get into that in a second here. But let's see what Haha ha Goodman had to say about this. Ladies and gentlemen, President Trump will never give his tax returns to Democrats. And this is a good thing. <laughs> After two years of Trump-Russia collusion hysteria, culminating with the Mueller report stating no collusion, no obstruction, congressional Democrats will never obtain President Trump's tax returns, acting White House Chief of Staff Mike, uh, uh, Mick Mulvaney said Sunday. Nor should they obtain the documents. He's right. Keep in mind that's an issue that was already litigated during the election. Voters knew the president could have given over his tax returns. They knew that he didn't, and they elected him anyway, which, which of course, is what drives Democrats crazy. So this is really, really interesting. And <laughs> they're trying to – this is the way the Democratic Party works. If, you're, if you were to tell them, hey, cash flow to the Clinton Foundation amid Russian uranium deal, that's, a, that's the New York Times article verbatim. If you, were, if you were to say that to them, well, so, there's nothing, so, uh, that doesn't mean anything. You can't prove a quid pro quo. That was a coincidence. You what, the caviar was so amazing. Everything else was great, too. Oh, yeah. Um, Bill Clinton met with Vladimir Putin. While the deal was going down, Madam Cyberhack was on the Committee on Foreign Investment, sat quietly, didn't utter a word. Yet, Putin was supposed to be so afraid of her. Yellow cake was shipped out of the country. The, fa the fantastic Mueller was, was FBI director. You have William D. Campbell, an FBI informant, st stating that, yeah, lobbyists were bragging, Russian lobbyists were bragging about their, uh, about their influence over President Obama's administration and the Clinton Foundation. But you can't connect any dots. You can't. Don't you understand? You cannot. That money that was sent to the Clinton Foundation, I mean, from UBS and from Boeing and the Haiti, uh, what happened in Haiti, everything, uh, weapons deals, 100 and, 
at 85 donors giving given uh, give 156 million dollars, 10 billion dollars stolen from the people of Haiti. 10 billion dollars raised, where's the money? I interviewed Daddy Cherry, um, a wonderful journalist, Haitian-born journalist in the Huffington Post. And she explained what 3% of the $10 billion was actually used uh, for projects. Everything else, nobody knows where the money is. So we're wondering why they want Trump's tax returns. You can't, with, with, with Democrats, the actual criminal activity, you're talking about real crimes. You're talking about top secret intelligence being, he hasn't, the guy is not a criminal. Not, you can't say that with Clinton. Clinton is a monumental, just simply saying, well, what are you hiding? That you, you had Hillary Clinton who literally, um, deleted 33,000 emails, used private servers outside of the United States. Yeah, so that is nothing short of insanity. It's embarrassing to watch, you know, why would you be against uh, tax, his tax returns being released? In fact, if you're a Trump supporter, right, if you're a big Trump fan, and you think that the tax returns are, you know, there's nothing wrong with them, why not release them? Why keep them secret? Why hide them? And why don't you care, by the way? That's my question. Why don't you care? I'm starting to think he's just a fraud altogether. I don't even think he's really a Trump fan. I think he's just doing it for the for the cash and, and you know, whatever extra subscribers he gets, which isn't even that much because his channel is still measly and his whole apparatus and view counts are measly. Um, but anyway, so the point is, is that, dude, there's a lot of info that has to be done with Donald Trump, especially when it comes to the garden variety of financial crimes he's done. So some of the different ones we know of now are he had committed bank fraud by actually overinflating his assets in order to get loans from, I believe it was Deutsche Bank. Um, he overinflated by lying about and adding like extra floors to his apartment buildings by saying, oh, it has this many floors. And there's a very detailed breakdown of it after an investigative reporting was done just like a couple a week or so ago and it showed that he had overinflated his assets which is that's bank fraud because you're being fraudulent in order to gain a bank loan so he overinflated his assets um and then you have other things like the michael cohen thing where he you know had paid michael cohen the money to do the nda with stormy daniels which is you know it's, it's illegal so he's committed a crime there and there's a, there's a bunch of other stuff to be caught there, okay? You know, good buddies with Paul Manafort and Michael Cohen, there's a bunch of stuff. We saw Michael Cohen's testimony. So, but my question again is, if you're a Trump supporter and the tax returns are fine, then why are you against them coming out? Why not let them out, right? Wouldn't it vindicate Donald Trump? Very weird position to take. Then we get to the point of, he says that, uh, he starts going on and on about, Russia. This has nothing to do with Russia or Russiagate or any of that stuff, nor is it relevant to this situation. And he's just, he just does what about is 101, where, where, you know, just bringing up random Clinton stuff and weird conspiracy theories about, and some things that, you know, about the Clinton Foundation are extremely shady, obviously. Um, like, I don't think that whole Haiti thing was handled very well. But certainly, <laughs> bringing up Hillary Clinton and the Clinton Foundation is entirely irrelevant and just straight whataboutism for Donald Trump's tax returns. There's no logical pathway from, I'm having a convo about, hey, we should probably see Trump's tax returns because we want to know if he's been paying his taxes. And also, what's what's his financial past? You know what I mean? Um, well, how do you logically follow that by saying, but Hillary's Clinton Foundation, but Hillary Uranium Russia, but Hillary Russia, but blah, 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 Hillary, blah, 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 DNC, blah, 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 Democratic Party, blah, 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 Foundation, blah, 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 Bill Clinton. That's, I just summed you up H.A. Goodman's channel in like five seconds. That's it. That's all he does. That's it. Just nonstop whataboutism for Hillary Clinton, DNC, Bill Clinton, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, DNC, rinse and repeat over and over and over. It's so... In this, this guy's a lunatic. There's he's not something is wrong with his brain, dude. Something is wrong with this man's brain. There's no way you can have a topic such as Trump's tax returns 
and then you just bring it somehow. What does Hillary Clinton have to do with Trump's tax returns? Nothing. There's no logical, tang you know, tangential road to the tax returns. You just randomly brought that up. It doesn't make any sense. So we want to see Trump's tax returns because he's committed financial crimes. And also we want to know his financial past. And so you, you know, um, giving him a blowy, you know, it just makes you look like a joke, dude. Seriously, it just makes you look like a joke. Now, there's also one little clip here that I want to show you that I wanted to talk about. The Mueller team, they're leaking information left and right. But they're not, they, they didn't recommend any indictments. Maybe because nothing happened. Maybe because it was two years of a fabricated probe that Clinton purchased. But they found nothing. And now they're on to the next hysterical, um, maniacal quest for something. We know he did something. but you Yeah, so this is a really bogus talking point that's really annoying now. Um, the Michael Trackies of the world have been saying this, that, oh, you know, uh, the Russiagate whole thing failed and whatnot. First of all, we haven't even seen the actual Mueller report. And now I'm starting to think like, okay, we don't, we, you know, the Mueller, as he says, the Mueller team is leaking stuff because there's obviously vital information that has not been released to the public. And they're like, oh shit, like this is more damaging than the Bill Barr report says. Could you, and people pointing this out, they're like, could you imagine your own attorney general that you handpicked, you handpicked this man, gets to give us a four-page summary of the report, and you keep, and Bill Barr keeps changing what he says about it every time. That's really shady. Why are the Republicans hiding the Mueller report? Why are they not making it public? What's the reason for that? Something is going on that we don't know about. Um, and also, another thing is, haha, ha Goodman, ha, you just look it up, I did it. Just Google search H.A. Goodman, Russia DNC emails. You just see a bunch of article after article of no evidence DNC hacked by Russia, blah, 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 blah. And the Bill Barr memo says that the Mueller report had come to the conclusion that the DNC email server was hacked by the Russians. So, y you know, I told you I'm going to wait for the facts on the Mueller report. And if, if Mueller came to the conclusion through his investigation that that's what happened, that's what happened, right? So it just... um. It's, it's so dumb, man. This Michael Trackyism at this point. That it, what do you mean it, it, it imploded? There were multiple indictments. And also, we don't even know what Mueller's conclusions were in terms of the collusion. Because, okay, there's no indictments. But the thing is, is that uh, he, there's probably a, you know, he probably didn't see that it could be uh, beyond a shadow of a doubt. You know, beyond a reasonable doubt. Because remember, this isn't a civil civil case, which is based on a preponderance of the evidence. This is a a, a standard of or a, a threshold of uh, beyond a reasonable doubt. So there's a possibility that he could have came to the conclusion that there probably was some collusion going down or some level of collusion, but it's not uh, beyond a reasonable doubt. Therefore, I cannot indict, or there's not enough evidence to have that surmounting. But you know. No one's, well, so actually, to be fair, some idiots were claiming that, you know, Donald Trump is, is Putin's bitch or that Donald Trump answers the phone to Putin all the time or, <laughs> or whatever garbage like that. But honestly, we know that Trump had the meeting in Trump Tower with the, you know, the Russian lawyer. I forgot her name. It's a very lengthy name. Uh, we know how Donald Trump had tweeted out saying, I have some uh, some surprise or something like that. And then not too long later, that, that was like a day after the meeting, I believe it was, something like that. And then we know that the email started dropping. So, you know, there's a lot of this stuff going on. And just because there were no indictments, you know, that doesn't mean that it imploded. And I'm tired of hearing this at this point. It's very annoying. There were multiple indictments during the whole Russia thing in the first place. And you're burying the actual fucking report. That's not acceptable. I'm not even going to hear you out until the Mueller report is released. Why are you hiding the Mueller report? Tell me that. Why are you hiding it? Why are you blocking it from being public? What is the reasoning for that? There's none. There's no acceptable reasoning for that. So, H.A. Goodman covering for Donald, for Donald Trump not releasing his tax returns by bringing up Hillary Clinton and the DNC is the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen in my entire life.